everybody, welcome back to Recordology. This is going to be fun. What is this thing? This is a Fluence IB40, and this is unlike any device I've ever had my hands on before. What is it exactly? Is it a turntable? You're not gonna wanna miss this. And you're not gonna wanna miss picking up the exclusive Cranberry Sauce Color 45 adapter on sale now. Let's get into this. So when I saw that Fluence made this, I knew I needed to have one. So what on earth is this exactly? It appears to be a turntable with no platter, with no arm, yet this actually really, really helps in making your listening experience better than it is today. Okay, what's included? Turntable with no parts, warranty, etc., etc. I love Fluence's stuff, they include this uh, catalog information, etc., etc. But there is the product. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box. And I can tell you that is very, very heavy. That's actually very heavy, which is good. That's an important part of what makes this a good product. Now, this will, I wanna preface this by saying at the outset, and obviously a lot of you know what this really is, uh, but this is a product that is non-essential. You don't have to have this. If you're new to vinyl, don't worry about this. If you are at the stage of your collecting where you're trying to improve things, make the little uh, finite sort of diminishing returns adjustments to your listening experience, this is for you. So before I do the big reveal, I'm gonna go ahead and set this plastic off to the side. And voila, there it is. Man, that's gorgeous. This turntable is the quietest turntable. Okay, it's not a turntable. What is this thing? This is an isolation base. This is a platform to put a turntable on and it's compatible with, I do air quotes off camera because it'll work with anything you put on it. Anything you put on this, it will benefit from this product. So it's not a turntable. It's not designed to make any music. There's no electronics here. There's no jacks. Look at this. This one has a little blemish. Let's go ahead and tour around the device. It is heavy. Um, there's no jacks or anything in the back. It's literally just, just smooth. They come in different finishes. This is by Fluence. You can see the Fluence branding there. Obviously this is designed to color match my Fluence RT81 Plus that we recently reviewed. It's got a uh, bubble level in the middle there. So this will allow you to you know, level your turntable and then it will give you the ability to really sound isolate the device as well. Let's look at the bottom. You can see me in the mirror-like finish. So literally there's nothing there. Uh, these feet, you'll, if you remember the RT81 Plus actually had three feet. This has four because it's allowed to make adjustments. You can rotate these left or right to raise or lower them. And as you can see here, that will allow you to uh, use the bubble level to make sure it's perfectly level. And once you do so, you are ready to place the turntable directly onto the base. So how do I demonstrate the effectiveness of this device? So this is designed to really combat vibrations, unwanted vibrations. So if you're not aware, a turntable's cartridge, you know, as it rides through the groove is picking up the vibrations of the groove. Those are intentional wanted vibrations that we hear as sound. Because it's so sensitive to vibrations, any unwanted vibrations, whether it's, you know, tapping on the turntable, simply walking by, stomping around with your feet, etc., etc., a cat that's misbehaving, whatever, these unwanted vibrations have a negative impact. Everything from the record player skipping to, you know, even worse things can happen. So how best to demonstrate this on a YouTube video? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to induce unwanted vibrations in a visual way that will show you, you know, how this product does or does not, because we're gonna test it, I don't know. So let's go ahead and get the turntable in here. Here is my beautiful Fluence RT81 Plus that we recently reviewed. This will serve as our test subject, it's no accident that the finish of this unit matches the finish 
of the platform that we are reviewing. So ultimately, we want to eliminate vibrations from the environment around the turntable or what it's sitting on from creeping up onto the platter surface and being picked up by the cartridge because that will, like I said, everything from skipping to feedback issues and things that will impact the sound quality. One of the biggest culprits is a speaker. If you put your speakers on the same playing surface as your turntable, that is not ideal because these make vibrations that can be transmitted up through the turntable's base and into the cartridge and cause a feedback issue. And in extreme cases, skipping, like I was saying before. Now the turntable itself has some built-in features to help minimize this. One of those is this particular platter on the RT81 Plus is the anti-resonance foam ring on the inside of this. Metal platters are great. They're heavy, they have good mass inertia, and they do a lot of really good things for your listening experience, but they have a tendency to sort of pass through, if not amplify, unwanted vibrations, and they have a ring to it. So by putting this anti-resonance foam around the inside, that is one step that this turntable takes to minimize those unwanted vibrations. Another one are the feet. Now these have a nice silicone type of rubber and they are spring loaded and that will help decrease those unwanted vibrations as well. But sometimes it's not enough. So if you're still facing un unwanted vibrations, then you may need to add a bass. Now demonstrating with sound may prove to be tricky. So instead of demonstrating it audibly, I'm going to demonstrate it visually. We are going to introduce some unwanted vibrations on this table and measure them on the turntable and then compare before and after adding the bass to see if it makes any difference. So how are we going to measure the unwanted vibrations? I'm going to demonstrate three things. We are going to first demonstrate the transmission of unwanted vibrations directly from the source, which in this case will be the elegant and extremely good sounding, very bass heavy, tree pyramid speaker thingy. That will be on the same surface as the water cup. So the water cup will be the way we measure this. Very Jurassic Parky as the dinosaurs come in kind of thing going on. So the, the uh, unwanted vibrations are gonna go down into the table and then be transmitted back up into the water in the form of ripples that we're gonna be able to record on camera. For an audio source, we're gonna do a bass frequency sweep, which will show us kind of approximately where in the sweep that those frequencies are showing up. Then we're gonna measure it with the cup on top of the platter, no bass, and then cup on top of the platter with a bass underneath so we can see you know, how that really helps things out and how the turntable helps mitigate the vibrations just by itself. So I'm literally just going to be using this video right here. I'll go ahead and link to it in the description below. It's a 25 to 150 hertz audio sweep. And this should really identify, you know, A, how much vibrations can come through the table and B, at what frequency approximately that occurs. And again, this is testing with the direct contact with the surface and the source of the vibration. Okay, that's about 60 hertz. bulk of it seems to be in that 50 to 60 hertz range. By the way, this is actually sort of a good indirect marketing for this speaker. This thing is incredible. And there's a mini one too. We reviewed both of them several years ago, but they are great. I'm just putting the water on the platter with no base underneath. There's 60 hertz again. Very interesting. It seems as though 
having the water cup on top of the platter made the frequencies interfere, different frequencies interfere than they did just directly on the table. Okay, let's add the bass. Okay, now we've got everything put together and hopefully this demonstrates less vibrations reaching that water surface from this frequency sweep. So that may be a little bit hard to remember how each one performs. Let's do a little side by side. Okay, that's about 60 hertz. about 60 Hertz so they say that this MDF device is mass loaded to assist with dampening vibrations unwanted vibrations that can get into your audio experience unfortunately I was not able to demonstrate a significant difference based on the frequency sweep that we use now like I said in the video in addition to preventing frequency disruption, this device should also help with the minimizing of foot stomping and other physical mechanical vibrations that can cause your record player to skip. Now, we didn't really get a chance to test that in this video, but the reviews for this product say that it's very effective in doing that. So, so my question to you is, what do you think? Do you have one of these or something similar? Is there a better way to test this? Let me know down in the comments below. But that's going to do it for today. So happy record hunting. We'll see you next time. <music>